All right, welcome back to Adobe Dreamverse CC. In this tutorial, we're gonna create our contact form. And basically, we're gonna uh, create that through the index. So instead of index, we're gonna go file, save as, and simply call this contact.html. So by doing that, we will have preserved everything else. We're gonna keep it in the same folder, the Web Design Project folder. And in here, we can determine what we want to keep. So uh, I'm going to keep the footer here, but I'm going to get rid of all these paragraph information here and just hit delete. Um, the educator and artist I might get rid of, but I think instead what I'll do is I'll rename that and rename it contact. And then I'll get rid of the art of James Kleckner and basically get rid of that. So um, yeah, so basically we have now our nav here we have contact the word contact and what we want to do is essentially have this uh, if we go to live view here and select contact we actually want the form for our contact to go right after this so under the insert menu uh, if you're in HTML there is a drop down menu here you can click on and go to form and what we want to do is create an actual form so we just click on form and we want it to be after the h2 tag here so um, and basically here it is so it says content from from form goes here so I can click in here and basically delete that and click away let's go to design view and do it this way yeah so I can come in here and basically just delete all that and then what I want to do now is add first uh, we're gonna need you know text for the form basically uh, to provide some sort of name so I'm gonna click on that and that will be there and then the next thing I'm gonna want to do I'm gonna switch to the live view here is once I have that that text field put in I want to put in next a um, and I can do this to the design view actually the next thing I want to do is hit return and then add a let's see what do we got email so we could choose an email after that and then hit return and then after that we'll add a text area because it'd be nice to have some comments so after that we'll hit return and then the last one we're going to add is the submit button whoops I hit the button which was the wrong one I want the submit button there we go and uh, basically we'll just leave it there so with each of these what we can do is in the design view we can click in here and basically hit return to uh, move and have a little bit of separation here between the text fields and the labels here um, so basically you know I can easily sort of separate these out a little bit easier uh, with each of these I can highlight and actually rename them so instead of text field I'm simply going to call this name and um, down here in the properties tab for this name uh, under text field I can select the text field and rename this instead of name call it name and in here I can change the size so maybe I want I don't know 30 for the unit for size and you can see it grows a little bit or maybe 40 so depending on whatever size you want so when I do that in the form area we want this to be form 1 and uh, we definitely want this to be required the required part is you know as they're typing away is it required or not required to put in a name and I want that to be required so I check that okay so that's for the name so let's click on for the email we want to click in here again it says email and we want to uh, change the size again I'll probably put 40 so it's matching up with a name and I want to uh, basically check required again it will be required for them to input the email and then um, and then the form area again you have to check form one here under the text area click on the little field here for the text area and instead of text area what we're going to call this is comment or comments and um, in here instead of for rows uh, or columns we could put like you know 30 for example and click out and you would see that we'd have a little bit there we could do it that way or we could put for the rows 30 and you would see how that would adjust there um, 
what I'm going to do is leave the column set to about 30 or, or actually 40 maybe and then it will you know basically increase depending on how much text is in there um, you can have it wrap which by default it will uh, we want this to be form one again and we don't necessarily have to have our comments so I'm gonna leave this one unchecked for the required component and then for the submit button if we click on that you can see the different things on here form one um, and pretty much everything else uh, we can leave in that area and then finally I want to change text area to comment basically and uh, I don't know this looks pretty good so we got our name we got our email we got the comment and we have the submit button so at this point we can go ahead and save our work so we'll go file save all and then file and then go preview in browser and I'm going to choose uh, Firefox here see how this looks so here it is it looks like we got the name the email and the comment so I'll go ahead and type in my name here James Kleckner tab uh, I'll just add my Yahoo account here and then add some sort of comment that's just random junk in fact, what I'll do is I'll leave my name blank here and hit submit, and it will tell you, please fill out this field. So uh, that's telling you it's it's working here. So basically, we've created our contact form. It looks pretty good. Um, we can spend a little more time with the styling and so forth, but this is the basic overview of creating contact form in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. See you soon. Cheers.